who would you select and why? And then also following that, like who are some players, if you were, were you able to see any WNBA players or maybe some um, players from your country um, that you looked up to? Well, I mean, it's hard to pick one. I think it's extremely hard to even pick 25. So yeah. let alone pick one, right? And uh, before I say anything, I'm super thankful, blessed, uh, grateful. Uh, I, I did have big dreams and I knew that I wanted to be the best player that I could be, but I honestly didn't dream this big. Like it's uh, it's kind of surreal to be honest with you. So, um, and to pick one, I don't know. I mean, I might be a little biased because I was a point guard and I really believe is the toughest position on the court. Um, so I have to <laughs> I have to look at Sue Bird just because of her longevity. I mean, you look at a team that had 20, I mean, it's 25 years in and she has played what, 17 out of those 25 or maybe 18, I, I'm not sure. Uh, she has four championships. Uh, so I would have to look at her and the role of how she also makes her teammates better. Um, but then you look at Diana Taurasi, probably the most competitive person player that we all played against. Then you look at Cheryl Swoops, that was the first player the WNBA signed. I mean, it's tough. I know that I'm glad I'm not voting because I probably would go back and forth all the time. Um, but I, I look at those three, and then you look at Lisa Leslie, like she defined, like redefined the center position. So it's super tough. Um, I, I really don't know. So good luck to all the people voting. I guess it's open voting, so everybody votes. Um, but yeah, it's tough. And again, uh, to be the GOAT, it's one thing that we also have to talk about how many personal sacrifices we have made, all of us. I literally, I know I'm not the only one put my personal life on pause to follow everything and every dream that I had. Again, I have no regrets. If I went back, I, did, I would do the same things all over again, but it's, it's not easy to be the GOAT. It's not easy to be the top. You know, there's so many sacrifices that go into it, dedication, hard work, uh, going through injuries, you know, adversity uh, and to fact, the fact that you, you still persevere and you go out on the other side and, um, and it's worth it. So um, yeah, good luck to everybody voting and to, I, I know I'm not the GOAT, I know that for sure. So, and I'm okay with that. <laughs> uh, can I just chime in here real quick, Mo? Um, yeah. Can we have more than one GOAT is all I'm saying. <laughs> can, can there be a herd of goats? And there's a lot of in a herd of goats, right? This goat does different things. This goat does different things. Mm -hmm. I, I, I personally don't believe in there's just one great player of all time. I believe that all of these players have taken from each from different individuals and have conspired to be great within themselves. And now they are in the goat status. So goats, there's goats. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 think it, I think it goes by generation, you know, like some people never saw Don Staley play, right? You know, yeah. or Teresa Weatherspoon, you know, or Deanna Nolan, you know, they didn't make the top 25 list, you know, so right. it's tough and it's debatable. That's why we talk about it, right? It's like, who's the goat in the, on the NBA side? Some people say it's Michael Jordan. He is to me, yeah. but for some people, it's Kobe or uh, LeBron. Well, Russell, he got 10 of them. Exactly, you know, oh, so, it is full. I mean, and that's why we, it's, everything is debatable. And I, I like mm -hmm. you said, I, I don't think it's, you know, it's clear cut and everybody knows like this is the goat and there's only one because, you know, in every sport, you, you're going to debate that. No, I agree. Deb, you took the words right out of my mouth. I don't believe in goat conversation um, because I, I, I think people tend to forget and it drives me insane. If you're like a true student, are a professional, you know the history of the game. And this is what drives me insane about these younger, you know, players. Like, go back and study. Go back and study how you can become better um, at, at your craft, right? Um, when I, you know, Cynthia Cooper was my everything, right? Because it, that's who I watched. That was when the WNBA first started. I remember just, like, laying in front of the TV and videotaping every single game that the Houston, you know, Comets would play and go out and try to emulate exactly what Cheryl Swoops and Cynthia Cooper and Tina Thompson and those, those women were doing. But, like, you know, we talk about the Euro step. Cynthia Cooper was one of the first ones bringing the Euro step back to the to the states. Like, stay loud for the people in the back, please. <laughs> <laughs> it like it drives me insane. So I I totally agree with you. It's it's of course it's it's debatable and it's, it's a conversation starter. But there are so many individuals who laid the foundation for us to get to where we are. And I just, I never want people to to forget that. Um, speaking about like the top twenty five, like Deanna Nolan. 
who are we going to take off? That's the number one question, right? Because everyone in their own right has done amazing things. But like for Deanna Nolan not to be considered like in this conversation, like my no, I goodness. Think, I think she was considered like, but again. Well, she was considered. Uh, You're absolutely right. right. Yeah. It's really hard. And then the thing is like, I just look at how many years did you play, you know, mm-hmm. because if we're talking about 25 years and, you know, most influential players in during that span and if you only play four or five or six I mean we had some young you know like Stewie uh she made the list and but she has been amazingly influential for the yep. WNBA since the day she got in so again it's super super hard uh to make the choice and um you know again I'm, I'm thankful I made it um but it, it's definitely not uh not were you surprised Tisha yeah be honest really no way come on come on I mean, look, I, you know what? You, you, I love that you're humble. I love, I, love, I love that you're humble, but keep it a buck. Let's keep it 100. I swear. I, he's like, do I have a chance to make it 100% sure? Like, am I like, can you call first ballot W25? No. So I know some people didn't vote for me, which I'm okay with, you know? So it's not like I was like, for sure going to make it. So, and you know what? It was out of my hands. I retired eight, nine years ago. So I don't have any more control of that. So it's like, it's one of those things. If it happens, amazing. And if it doesn't, it's cool. Like, I know that whatever, whoever is going to make make it also deserve to make it so it's cool but I appreciate my peers you know and honestly that the best uh compliments that you can get is sometimes it's not really the people that vote the media because they never even play basketball but (laughs) the best compliments that people can give you is the people that you played with it and and against because they truly know the game so yeah I'll break the ice since nobody wants to pick I know like if you there are a lot that can be in the GOAT conversation but if you had to pick one, I'm gonna pick Cynthia Cooper just because she is who I watched growing up, her charisma. Like in addition to her game being like, she was a killer, a dog on the court, like the charisma that she brought, the energy that she brought makes her the GOAT in in my eyes. And I think a a lot of people don't, what they don't know about Cooper is that she played overseas um, Mm -hmm. for a while before Mm -hmm. the WNBA, right? Before the, in Italy. Yeah. I before the yeah, WBA. She played in Parma yeah. for a long time. Yeah, she she killed over there. Like, and yeah. She's this famous female basketball player overseas. And just that sacrifice that she made being out of the country um, so she could do the sport, uh, play the sport that she loves. I think that, I think a lot of us, almost everybody can relate to that. Make sure to sign up and subscribe at thegamingsociety.com and hit that follow button at The Gaming Society on all social platforms.